culture or, or another. And what what I do and what Joe does and what uh, John Michael does is we're interested in horses. And so we, um, we've got the Kentucky Horseshoeing School. And John Michael is a student. He's, he's going to stay at the school for nine months total. Then he's going to do a 12-month to 18-month, depending how far along he goes in it, 12, one year to a year and a half apprenticeship with a farrier or a horseshoer here in this area. And then when he gets done with that, he will come back in to the school and he'll take his final exit exams. And then he'll have about two years of training and he'll be ready to go out and, and make a living as a farrier. So one of the things that's important that, that um, I'd like to get to you guys today is that when we have animals, whether they be horses or cows or pigs or whatever, you know, we've got a, there's, an, there's a little maintenance contract that we have to do. We have to make sure that since they're domesticated and they can't fend for themselves really, um, that we've got to help them fend for themselves. So in the case of the horse, there's a lot of basic, you know, um, husbandry, a lot of basic things that we need to do to horses on a regular basis. You know, we need to make sure they have their vaccine make sure that their teeth are floated. We need to make sure that their feet are trimmed on a regular basis because their feet continually grow. And their feet grow at, at a rate of anywhere from a quarter inch to all, sometimes a half an inch a month. And as those feet grow long, they, they um, cause the foot and the limb to take on a different position underneath the body. And because this is an animal and he's not a machine, all the weight that's on these feet isn't always directly linear on top of it. So a lot of times we have little um, conformation issues that cause feet to warp and change shape and or crack or whatever. So we've got to make sure that we, we trim horses or shoe them if they need to be shod every four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks. Anywhere between five and seven weeks is the time that we need to have all horses need to see a farrier for the most part. Um, we don't need to shoe all horses, only those horses that wear more foot away than they grow or that are traveling on very hard ground or working hard or doing a particular sport, a discipline that requires them, their feet to be covered and protected. Sometimes we have to put traction um, on, on horses if we're taking them out jumping them in, in ground like this, we might need a little bit of traction on them that shoes provide. But one way or the other, when the farrier comes to look at the feet every month or every six weeks, we, we trim them up. This is a very unique appendage here. This limb and this foot of a horse is very unique. There's not um, any feet like it in, the animal, in any of the other what we call quadrupeds or those horses that, those animals that stand on four legs as opposed to us who are bipedal. We stand on two legs. So we, we stand in a, in a way that is in a particular posture that's called plantigrade. That means that our bones, the bones that, that are like this horse's, excuse me, doctor, this horse's cannon bone right here, this is the horse's cannon bone right there. Well, these are our cannon bones. We've got five of them right here. Those are called metatarsal bones. So really, if we were to stand in the same position that horses do, we'd be up like this. And this point right here, this point of our heel, is the point of the horse's hawk, anatomically similar. So they stand up on their tippy toes on one column of bone. They don't have five bones there. They've only got one prominent column of bone all the way down and then this hoof that surrounds it. And this hoof is, is really important. It's really unique. It's really specialized as horses have evolved over time and, and gone through different